shell. <laughs> and a little mangy dog spying on us. <laughs> we are on our way to the north, to the village, to visit my in-laws. Um, what time is it, Lance? 6.23. Okay, it's 6.23. So we've been driving since about, I don't know, like about 2 o'clock maybe or 2.30. And so we're on the final leg of the journey. Right now we're in a small, small town named um, Omakange. And we are on our way to Okahau. And then um, Okahau is actually, is the name of the town that I was married in, if you haven't seen the, the wedding video. And then um, my husband's home village is like just a few kilometers, like maybe 10 minutes outside of Okahau. We haven't been in the north in a while and the northern part of Namibia referred to as the north and to be honest it feels so good up here you know just just a different whole feeling the air feels different the energy is different you know not throwing shade at the town I live in but it's very different up here so I feel like for me I really notice it um, every time I come up it's just a different atmosphere you know so it's really nice and right now it's cool it's not too hot it's evening of course and there's a nice breeze it's so nice it's just so just feels good you know i'm gonna try to get some footage because we haven't been to the village in a while and those seem to be my most popular videos <laughs> so yeah we're just here hanging out in omakange service station behind me you know really a small small community that has a lot of um, traffic, you know, traveling traffic that passes through. So we're just at a gas station or certain people here say service station, um, just filling up, right Lance? How are you enjoying the trip, Lance? Good. Well, he's been asking me, are we there yet? Are we there yet, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's like getting older, now he's seven. So he's really starting to feel like this is taking forever. Shell's doing okay, but she was getting a little crazy at certain points, right Shell? She's getting a little crazy, right? <laughs> Say bye bye. Shell, come over here. <laughs> he doesn't want to be touched. She's hanging in there, you know, she's a two year old, so doing the best that she can. All right, guys, so I will see you in the village. We should be there probably within, within an hour, but I have no idea what surprises this weekend, you know, or interesting experiences I can film. Um, that will pop up, so we'll see. So stick around. Okay, bye guys. So this is when we were a few minutes, maybe, I don't know, 20, 15, 20 minutes uh, from arriving in the town of Okahau, which as I said earlier, is just a few kilometers away from my husband's home village. And it was dark outside. Clearly we left too late. I do not like night driving in Namibia because when you're outside of the towns, when you're driving between towns, there are no street lights at all. And so it's pitch black, it's a two lane highway. People have on their brights. Some people don't turn down their brights, so it um, blinds, you know, the car like for a quick moment. And there are lots of animals, uh, cows, donkeys, and goats on the highways as well. That sort of, especially donkeys, because they're like silver colored, they camouflage into the darkness. Um, here, the driver is overtaking. And it gets scary, like, if you're overtaking, you have to make sure there's no, no animals right around the other side, you know, of the, uh, of the car that you're overtaking and, and things like that. And a lot of accidents in Namibia happen after dark because of these factors, the animals, people's speed, and also just the night and the lack of lights. 
um, as well. And so that's this is just just us just about to arrive. But it was pretty. I had a lot of anxiety. Let me say that it gives me a lot of anxiety. And next time we will leave earlier because I just don't like this, you know, um, sort of driving. It's not safe. It really isn't safe at all. morning. Bless you. Bless you. Just eating a piece of guava that one of the cousins, the kids, just brought us. They brought us three. It's so good. It even kind of smells and tastes like perfume. <laughs> really sweet, fresh guavas here in the village. Shell just had her first piece, right? You like it? No? Are these easy to grow, guava tree? Yeah. We need to grow them. You know how to do it? Yeah. You just what? Just get a, a plant. Okay, so yeah. It's easier that way. Okay, yeah, we need to get that. Hi, Lance. Hi. Did you taste the guava? No. What does Lance have? Is that a guava or a I lemon? It's a lemon. <laughs> Where'd you get that lemon from? What part of the tree? Between here, under here? Yeah, look. In the trees. Oh, it was. Oh, whoops. Okay. Michelle, what are you doing? Mosquito bite. Mosquito bite? <laughs> no, there's no mosquito bite. <laughs> this is our this is our house that we sleep in. Yeah, so, yeah, so this. Yeah, there, so this crop is like there's like the staple crop up here. It's called mahangu. Unfortunately, you know there wasn't enough rain this year, so a good portion of it, you see it all here, um, won't get like harvested. I guess you could say. Um, and you know, according to my husband, like when they were growing up, you know, like these years of like not enough rain were not. Um, as common as of late these last couple of years like more frequent years where there's just not enough rain um, so with mahangu it's like a grain and it's used they use it um, primarily <laughs> primarily used um, to make their to make porridge basically what should I go closer to the grain yeah I'll just go a little bit closer like you can see it here they, it's a whole process. Yeah, it's pounded, turns into a flour, right. Um, and yeah, luckily, you know, they have some stored from other years. But, um, you know, that won't last forever. So these are the things like when people talk about like climate change, you know, affecting, um, climate change affecting you know like communities you know it's like you can see it here you know now these years like more and more like there's years with not enough rain whereas that didn't happen you know like when my husband was growing up 2019 there was not even a single harvest right oh what do you mean a single harvest like just like, nothing was able was usable like, yeah right and that was just 2019 just to, like, right so they didn't even grow like i have to put in a picture of how like a good harvest season looks yeah. But like in 2019, like everything was like this short. You see these like right here. They just dried up and that was it, you know. So, and that was 2019, you see. So in terms of the frequency of these years of not enough rain. Yeah, these are watermelons growing. Let me zoom into one. Yeah. Okay. Let me... Dang. <laughs> you don't want him coming or? I know. Oh, guard the house? Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> oh god, I don't want to see that. Oh, so that doesn't run away. I don't I still don't want to see it. Sad. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'll just go over here. I think the biggest difference from the last time I was here is like there's so much more like vegetation growing within the compound. Like, just see inside. Just so much more inside, you know? There's Lance. <laughs> These are watermelons. And I asked, um, I had my husband ask his aunt, like, did they intentionally decide to like plant a lot more inside this time? And she said, no, that it's just kind of got naturally scattered. Maybe somebody was eating something like watermelon and it just, you know, wind covered it with soil and then tomatoes and whatnot just grew, which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> just naturally, you know? I think these are marula kernels, marula nut. I think, uh, I think that you maybe have heard of marula, marula oil. And there's, this is a lemon tree. This is another lemon tree. So it's just so many lemons from one lemon tree. And my husband was saying these two are like maybe 30 or 40 years old. I know this is a mango tree. I remember when it was new, like years ago, like before Lance was born or when he was small. So at least I remember like six years ago when it was very short. Uh, I'll take that out, Lance. I'm not sure if this is a guava tree right here. I have to double check. There's a pow pow one. I'll show in a second. I'm not sure. This looks like maybe also a guava. So you eat that fruit? Yeah. Okay. When they are so young and tender. This is calabash. Okay. I don't think I've ever eaten that. Is that squash or something? Or? Almost. Remember there was one they sent us. It's this one. Just last year or what? Mm, it's this. Cool. Shell's been asking me a million times today, what's this mama? What's this mama? What's this mama? What's this mama? Everything is a what's this mama? I'm all what's this mama out. Now she has a chicken feather, a feather from the chicken that was just killed for dinner. What's this mama? I'm tired. <laughs> She's been very clingy to me it was hot earlier at least now it's cloudy and cooled down there's a little bit of a drizzle she's been very clingy so she's kind of worn me out today <laughs> you know new environment new faces clingy to mama but that is exhausting you know especially when it's like hot <laughs> but at least she's enjoying herself and having you know a new experience right right My husband says this plant is they use they they use it to treat snake bites. Yeah, like the seeds that will come from this, uh, like this. Yeah. yeah. To grow it and the seeds comes out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they collect those seeds and then they it's, uh, pound it into a powder. Got it. Have you ever needed it? Ah, no. And what kind of snakes are up here again? Like, for example, venomous? Um, yeah, you might find the... Uh, what is this? The uh, boom slanger. Boom slanger? Yeah, they call them boom That slanger. sounds really scary. <laughs> Even a green mamba you might find. Green mamba. Because they like trees. Ugh! Yeah. Okay. And, uh, cobras. Yeah. The, the Cobra? Yeah. The black mamba is really 
here. It's like black mamba is rare. Yeah. But you have you ever seen one here? Yeah. <laughs> you will say it, but it's very rare. It's not Thank really, yeah. Okay. So I want some water. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. One, two, three, four mango trees. Yeah. That's awesome. And two guava trees. Yeah. That's awesome. This is so romantic. <laughs> this is so romantic. My husband getting me <laughs> guava fruits. <laughs> so romantic getting me guava fruits. He got me one. <laughs> oh, he went inside. He's disappeared in there. <laughs> he went inside. He's disappeared, Shell. Can't even see him anymore. He's blended in. Oh, there you are. Well, don't get mashed up in there just for me. <laughs> oh, remember what I said on... <laughs> That's kind of scary. <laughs> Yo, you have issues. She's getting, this is getting beyond creepy now. <laughs> You're like, I'll go to the ends of the earth for you. <laughs> oh, man. No, it's not healthy. That's toxic. <laughs> no, no, Shell, come. Where are you going? Come out. Come, Shell. Shell. She's like, this is just my height. Because she like actually fits perfectly. It looks scary to me, but it's like <laughs> she went in. Like... <laughs> She's like, it's like a playhouse. This is like the it's like the jungle under here, man. The mango tree. It's really nice though. It's pretty. Imagine if you plant like a whole bunch of this stuff. Like yeah. see, I'm the one that will just like have an accident. That's my luck, so I have to be careful. Oh, it's literally nothing. Excuse me. Woo. Cool, they're building a roof. An old one? One on old uh Oh, cool. Okay. I remember the one who made this one. You were the one that made it? Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> what is this, a playground? I hope it don't fall in. Come. No, 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 no. Yeah, come it's off. <laughs> Here's the beautiful mango tree. Look at that. Wow. One, two. Here's the guava. There's some more down there. <laughs> it's Lance playing with his cousins. They're having a ball. I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> Where's the exit? Huh? I am. Oh, God. I me, I survived. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Oh my god, it's like another world in there. Look where's Shell? There she is. Uh -huh.